comics and coffee? What? We're here <laughs> at a brand new stop that just opened up. Coffee and comics. Join us as we check out Coffee in Comics. comics. As you can see, there is a lot of comics here. A lot. If you know anything about coffee, you know that counterculture coffee is actually really, really good specialty coffee. And they actually serve that here at this coffee shop because they take coffee seriously. Oh, that's a good cup of coffee. That's a good pumpkin spice latte. Also, Hulk's hand is coming out of the wall. Hi, my name is Alex Farside. I'm a co-owner at Coffee and Comics. Our grand opening was amazing. Um, I'm like truly humbled and speechless that hundreds of people showed up. Uh, people in costumes, fans, kids, old and young. I mean, we had people waiting an hour to get a drink. Um, blew me away and I was just so thankful to have that much love for our new coffee shop here in town. So the inspiration behind Coffee and Comics was really just like a, a fantasy and a daydream of something that I always thought of doing in the back of my head when I was working sales jobs I didn't like. Um, I never thought I would really get the chance or opportunity to do this, but um, things fell into place and it ended up happening and I couldn't be more happy with the outcome here. So it's just really me being a nerd with, you know, VHS Star Wars, watching it a thousand times as a kid. and. I told myself that one day I could be able to watch Star Wars at work and I made that happen. So our coffee here, we chose to go with counterculture coffee. Um, they've been roasting for about 25 years. They started in North Carolina and now they have another roastery out of San Francisco, which is what we pair up with. So come check us out. We're located at 940 West Moana, We're right on the corner of Moana and Lakeside by Great businesses like Delhi Town and Palace of Jade. Luke, I am your father. Stay classy. <laughs> Thank you so much for your interview, Alex. We had a great time here. So much fun. All that good coffee. And guys, this is really good coffee. I'm not joking. What do you think of your pumpkin spice latte? I was gonna say, if you're like me and you need some pumpkin spice in your life, you should come down here. Read a comic, get some coffee. It'll be good. Life will be good. So good. <laughs> Free Wi-Fi, hang out. And hang out and read comics and drink good coffee? How can you go wrong? There's something else I wanted to say. Oh. And I know I say this all the time with local businesses, but I feel like I have to say it again. We were not sponsored to do this. 
this was just something we wanted to do. This is a cool, this is a cool local place that just opened up. They have this mug. I mean, come on now. Come on. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. That's the one that looks like this. <laughs> and hit that notification bell for more. And most importantly, you stay classy. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, oh yeah, guys, don't forget, check me out on Instagram, Dave of Reno. Don't do it. That's me. And check out Nika and Scraps at... Scrapadapple. Thank you for watching. Stay classy again. I like puppies. So, this is a dream come true. Join us as we check out... <laughs> P.S. I was so cool that my favorite game was Comic Zone. How many girls do you know that can say that? <laughs> That's bonus footage. <laughs> Great bonus footage. <laughs> now you're probably asking Dave, why does it matter that... You're probably asking Dave, what, why does it matter that Wonder Woman is on the bathroom wall? Well, see folks, there's more than just comics to this coffee shop. There's also coffee. <laughs> What's a comic? Oh no! Oh. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm a lot cooler than that, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> she does own actually a couple comics. As a child, I nerded out. I had boxes full of comic books. I did.